gold and silver both have traded with a slight bullish bias and then again erasing the gains later in the day yesterday so now what to expect today which position you should take in order to profit trading gold and silver we will see with the help of charts and indicators this is the first update for the day the next update will be released before the us session thus press the bell icon or join my free telegram channel to get the live market updates and yes do not forget to press the like button do comment do share and subscribe friends your every like comment and share is a great support inspiration motivation for me to deliver on time every time to the best of my ability with that let's start first we'll look into gold followed with silver do watch till now look at the hourly charts for gold you can clearly see higher highs are getting created here it was trading in this bullish channel and it has achieved a scaled higher high see we discuss about beyond 1932 we can look forward to 36 and then 40 levels it is tried to breach 36 briefly but then failing to do so it has again got a pullback at the same time see none of the candles has stayed above 36 very very clear now post achieving the highs what has happened you should look at see it has seen a good drop there and suddenly now the see this drop then the change is has become gradual and now it is trying to trade in this bearish channel now it has to break above this zone again at 1934 35 once it stays above this you can say that prices are willing to climb up higher that will be the psychology here possibly we might see 1940 plus plus level if it stays above 1935 36 levels this time also if you look at how it is trying to behave see lower lows lower highs trying to stay in this zone and at the same time we know that 26 levels are going to be 26 25 is a great great support on the downside we have been tracking these levels and below that uh, 22 and 18 15 till 15 we have very very good support for gold there on the downside as of now it appears on the early chance it is possibly trying to stay in the box uh, stochastic is rising MACD has seen good bearishness possibly if it converges crosses over again a bullish move can be seen RSI is staying flat here not indicative of the strength there as of now look at two RHR see what has happened uh, prices were divergent from the moving average we can see whenever it diverges it tries to converge it tries to converge it tries to converge it did here as well and now trying to trade with the support so yes slightly slight bearishness is seen here however on the downside supports are also very very strong the stock has rising from the oversold levels now look at MACD has crossed over at the top there and trading with divergence trading with bearishness if you look at MACD what it is trying to do first wave second wave so it is just trying to achieve the bottom of the wave here this is still bullish even if it continues to yield fewer more red candles here it is still going to be treated as bullish but at the same time look at the candles candles have almost peaked here so possibly a little conversion even if it has to diverge it may converge more so uh, see if any up move you see towards 35 36 do not treat this as a bullish up move or a breakout and as long as 40 is there we have to understand that 1940 is a critical resistance it may show a pullback even if it tries to achieve 40 levels rsi looking downwards and on the three R now on the three r charts a reversal sign and after that one bearish t almost symmetry i can sense here you can look forward to this candle and this candle almost identically symmetrical at the same time see this was slight uptrend this is slight downtrend lower lows are getting created it is trading below the support levels here so uh, possibly at the same time see uh, on the three hour charts prices just converge towards the moving average this 20 period moving average sitting at around 1928 levels the price has converged here towards those levels also another observation here is look at these four to five candles 1922 is a great great support right now all the moving averages are trading with divergence this is a bullish sign the stock has ticket bottom here the MACD has crossed over at the top trading with divergence suggests that possibly a little drop cannot be denied here rsi looking downwards coming to 4 hours likewise on the 4 hour chart see these levels are going to remain critical 1922 very very strong support exists here see moving average is crossing here over here at around 24 and then 22 levels and also this is a strong support for now so prices are trying to fall back within this zone that is towards 25 24 levels in fact 22 can be achieved and these are going to remain a strong strong support and if you look at what is happening right now after the reversal symmetrical formation lower highs lower lows support there is seen near at 1928 then 24 22 zone very very strong support here
and the prices might converge towards those levels but look at moving averages right now it uh, see that 1500 is also crossed over bullish sign it is a stock has ticket bottom may be willing to cross over again for sell and may bring slight bearishness rsi looking downwards coming to the daily now look at daily chart see right now even if it stays as long as 28 27 levels are respected the chances of a pullback will remain high because see even if it has to reverse even if it has to reverse and achieve higher highs there there should be a down move or there should be a limit on the downside else what will happen the pullback becomes difficult let's say if it breaks past 26 or 24 zone then the pullback is difficult this is complete bearish sign here if the candle is this big but right now if you look at if it limits its movement between 28 levels the possibility of a pullback will remain stronger it can either yield lower highs or it can either yield higher highs towards 40 levels so hence as long as uh, 28 26 is respected the chances of a reversal will be different and uh, difficult and on the upside 1932 level will become the strongest resistance and hence a uh, possibility of a reversal will be minimal at the same time right now if you look at if it stays above 28 possibly and breaks past 32 because see the candle has started flat here it can continue on the upside towards 36 and 40 levels as well look at the moving averages right right now looking upwards suggestive of bullishness in the price now if you look at the daily charts at the same time what has happened see rise lower highs lower lows beautifully creating a flag formation here above 40 is where the reversal might be indicated as long as 40 is respected we should not be treating this as bullish a stock has taken is overbought macd has been crossed over and it is trading with little bullishness rsi is flat looking at this what i will suggest today those who can risk a little should enter at around 19 28 27 zone try to find out a safer entry there expect 24 22 level 24 is going to be very very strong 24 25 is going to be very very strong support and then 22 only below 22 it is where the bears will try to kick in chances of it dropping below 22 i, I think are less but these are markets because if it drops below 22 more bearishness is going to prevail 19 18 19 15 levels and below that we can see a sharper drop hence you have to take your positions cautiously on the downside as long as 1915 is respected we can again see a reversal from there at the same time on the upside you can buy here at 1933 levels or 1934 levels but then uh, we have to be careful of 36 and then 40 levels 40 is the uh, only level beyond which you can say that gold has turned bullish take your trades accordingly now let's have a look at silver and before we proceed if you want to learn this art of trading you should join my mentorship batch the 26 batch is going to start on first week of october only limited seats are available purely on the first come first served basis register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description let's start with silver now look at silver on the early charts higher lows are seen here higher highs are seen here trying to stay within this bullish zone any drop below 23 22 95 levels should call for further bears but as long as 22 80 is respected do not treat silver as bearish i have been mentioning this again and again and once again i will say the same that as long as 22 80 is respected for the week do not treat silver as bearish now what has happened on the early chart it has scaled towards 23 40 levels since then drop retracement drop again trying to create a bearish channel now a uh, buying entry is only about 23 25 2330 very very strong resistance exists in this zone 2320 to 2330 levels we have to be cautious of these levels now if you look at early charts as well you will find four red candles and one candle trying to reverse it can try to stretch a little on the upside however as long as 2325 2330 is respected do not treat this as bullish a stock has taken back to oversold levels macd has seen divergence has seen has been trading bearish rsi at bottom coming to 2 hr likewise on the 2 hr chart see first of all note this and note this almost forming a good flag and yes uh, this is a channel in which it is trying to trade 23 22 95 very very strong support there and 22 80 these are strongest support 22 80 is the strongest support here on the downside below which the bears will take over else what has happened here see it has retraced here it is it was trading in this bullish channel then a slight drop also if you look at the formation bigger drop retracement and then this next drop 
yes the resistance here is very very strong here so yes if you see the price is staying about 23 25 you can initiate a buying entry however be careful of 30 40 zone and then we can see it hitting 23 60 as well the stochastic looking downwards trying to trade bearish macd is divergent macd is trading with extreme divergence and bearishness also if you look at what it is trying to do it is creating this red part of this wave first wave is complete it is trying to complete the second wave such so that it can initiate the third wave for the bullish momentum rsi looking downwards trying to stay bearish coming to three now look at three hrc if the rise was gradual the drop is considerably sharper here almost if you see this is symmetry you can find out yes it is trying to stay symmetrical support is seen at 23 very strong support 23 22 95 22 90 22 80. so as long as 22 80 is there do not yes it is not to be treated as bearish but look at moving averages which has crossed over here are again trying to converge yes they have not crossed over but trying to converge the stock has take over sold macd has crossed over trading with divergence trading bearish here you can see this trying to stay in this way rsi looking downwards trying to stay bearish coming to 4 hours likewise on the 4 hour charts i can uh, see the formation there yes it is still trying to stay bearish even if it tries to consolidate here uh, i will not be treating this as or, or for a reversal or a buying as long as 23 25 for the day is respected we are not going to go for buying silver as of now the stock has take over sold macd again crossed over here trading with divergence here this is the first red candle and it can yield a second wave rsi looking downwards trying to stay bearish coming to the daily chart now look at daily chart see i will still not be treating it for a sell as long as 2295 is respected see chances of a pullback still remains high see what it will try to do achieve the lows and then reverse from here if it is bullish it has to reverse and then stay above 2325 achieve the highs there on the upside yes if it is bullish it has to reverse achieving the double bottom levels at, at worst it can try to achieve the double bottom and reverse breaking below this levels here on the downside will we should not be treating silver for a buying entry it can it can yield sharper red candle erasing the gains for all two through two to three days so yes here at this point 23 to 22 90 levels is where the maximum support will be seen for silver today and if it is bullish it has to bounce back from these levels only because below which uh, bearishness is going to prevail here stock ISIC is overbought MACD is on the verge of a crossover for the buying entry you can see this good wave is seen possibly a crossover should bring more bullishness RSI is comfortable looking at this I will recommend to today at 23.25 and sell at 22.95 for this 30 cents we are just going to observe silver how it behaves anyways whatever movement silver has shown since last few days yes it has shown a little reversal however the bullish chance is still uh, still not there it has to say uh, you know when silver moves it shows a very good momentum but that momentum is missing as of now let's see if it gives that momentum today yes a move beyond 2325 will lead to 2340 2360 levels i will be targeting 2360 beyond 2340 this time on the downside be careful of 22 95 and then 2280 levels very very strong support as long as 2280 is there below 2280 is where the bears will take over trade accordingly trade profitably trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss do like share subscribe and comment friends that's the only motivation for me to deliver on time every time also you can be part of my mentorship batch and signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or trading queries my telegram and email id are mentioned in the channel and video description thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead See you again before the US session update. Thank you.